What is going on my peeps? Your man Versado is back with another video. Back here to show you guys the Pentastic app that works very well for the Galaxy Tab S6. It's via good lock and more features of it is now accessible because of the One UI 2.5 update. One of which being you can change more things about the pin. So before we get into the video, if you guys haven't already, make sure you guys ignite the like button, subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so that way you never miss my videos. So that we can sit back, chillax and see what's cracking. So now let's get into the video. And the first thing we're gonna do is go into good lock. Then we're gonna, since we already have an installed, if you didn't, you would just, you know, search for it, Pentastic. And what, upon searching for it, it'll pop up, you install it, click on it. And now you have things that you could change. One of the things is your air command window. What does it look like? Mine's currently compact, which means when I click, when I click close to the screen, they pop up down here. And then if you had to hover over each one to figure out what it actually was, boom, clean, just like that. So that's one of the things I appreciate about that. Of course, you know, regular is the regular. So if you click on, well, if you click on that, you know, it blurs out the screen, has stuff right there. Um, you can do line. And some of these are starting to look like the old versions. And then, you know, it's kind of similar to what I had, just it looks different. I don't care for that. I much prefer the compact. You got circle. So if you use circle, it pops up over here on the side. That's pretty neat. And then of course you got retro. Retro, it must be the old note days. Boom. That's kind of neat right there. Oh, that is really neat actually. I kind of like that. Click away. Boom. Look at that. So me, I'm going back to compact. I like that. Now you can also change the pointer. They have some already here, you know, basic. You know, if I want to use this, I can use the arrow instead. So now oh, I actually don't even have my um, <laughs> thing on. So if I go to settings and I go to advanced features, I click on S pen. I actually need my pointer on. So for me, I need to do that. So now when I hover, now you guys can see it ever so subtly. You see the little pointer there? You can change that. So upon coming back over here, you can change it to a heart. You can also change the size, right? For me, like for this, I actually probably wouldn't mind a, a slightly bigger, you know, pointer so you can see it a little bit more. You can change it to all these and you can also customize. So you can actually download your own and use that as a pointer instead. So that's also pretty neat. Now here, I don't have my sounds on on the tablet, but I imagine those who do, you understand the sounds that the tablet makes when you use the S Pen. You can change those. You can change it to a basic sound, heart sound, or a cro cro sound, or cro 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 cro. Oh boy, uh, Lisa, Cookie, Bobby, and you can also customize and bring your own sounds in here as well. And then you can also oh, double tap. You have a double tap shortcut. So choose what option when you hold down the pen button and double tap the screen. For me, I have my editor pop up because that's what I use on my tablet the most is my video editor since that's my workflow. So if I hold the button down and I double tap the screen, it brings it up just like that. Now I, I kind of had already loaded it, so didn't have. To, that's why I load it really fast. But that's the functionality you get with Pentastic once the One UI 2.5 drops on the Galaxy Tab S6. You can also change your share manager screen. So upon jumping in here, now you can have all your apps that you really use to share stuff with right up front. So as you see here, you know, it could look different depending on the sharing file types. Well, here, all you gotta do is add your favorites. Uh, oh, well, select your options. So for me, I would probably go with, I scroll down here, I throw, you know, Twitter in here first, even though I don't really use that on this tablet. I don't have Instagram on here, so my next would be uh, the drive, then the Gmail, and then messages, well, keep notes, and then messages, and then photos, and then reminder, and then I guess Google Tasks just in case I want to use either one. And then, no, no, I don't really use Samsung. And I need to get rid of Samsung Flow because there's no need for that anymore. And then if I want to upload a video, uh, a photo to Lightroom to edit up real quick, I can do that. And that's pretty much it. That's all I need. 
and then of course I can have actually add an icon to reveal hidden apps so I can do that and it pops up right there and that's pretty much that there so then you know save your current state so now upon wanting to share something let's say if we go back in here and you want to share this picture you want to share it now all the apps that I selected uh, here first right here and then all apps pop up down there but now you just boom just like that so that's I like how Samsung is giving us more customization and really personalize how we want to use things. Uh, even if it's something as simple as the share screen and then changing the ability to use the pen and for whatever reason, wherever it went, maybe it'll come back soon. Being able to customize the Samsung's keyboard as well as your notification panel via the theme park app. That's all really nice. And I like that. Wonderland allows you to make your own live wallpapers. I, didn't, I don't really care for that. Um, so I'm probably not gonna show y'all that to be honest. Now, if you wanna see it, let me know. I don't even have it downloaded because I'm not as concerned about that. But if you do like that, let me know and I will actually drop a video for that. And hopefully I can do that in tandem with the theme park app. But as it is now, that's what's going on with the Galaxy Tab of 6 with GoodLock. Now that One UI 2.5 has landed. Let me know down in the comments below if you guys use GoodLock, what are your favorite modules to use or that you've been thinking about using or waiting to use. Let me know down in the comments section below. If you haven't already, make sure you guys ignite the like button, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell so that way you never miss my video so that we can sit back, chillax, and see what's cracking. But your man Versal signing out, and until the next video, wait for it.